Okay, I have it. A designer box. I have not got one of these in forever. So I was so excited to finally get one. And good news, I ordered two more yesterday and Ryan's gonna have one and I'm gonna have one. So there will be like a video with me and Ryan to see who got the better box, like battle of the boxes, which will be really fun. The last time we did that, which was a really long time ago, he got like the best box I've ever seen from a designer thread up box. It had Louis Vuitton and Gucci in their purses. It was crazy. So they are, this one was 140, but I feel like when we ordered them yesterday, they were 150. So it's kind of a big risk, but you can get some really amazing things. I've gotten, I got a Rick Owens leather jacket before and a Nancy Gonzalez purse. That's my highlights from my boxes that I've received. And they were some of my highest sales I've ever had. Thank you so much to all of my previous subscribers. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I get these mystery boxes. I go to thrift stores, consignment stores, garage sales, and I find stuff to flip online and make money. It's amazing. I love it. I never wanna do anything else again. If you like mystery unboxings, subscribe down below. I do put out three videos a week, what sold videos, haul videos, and mystery unboxings. I feel like some people that watch my mystery unboxings are not even resellers. They just want to see what I'm getting and it's kind of a fun video. So those come out every Sunday. So I'm sucking on a caramel because I have a really dry throat and with all the talking, it's gonna make it worse. So if you notice that, sorry, I'll be done with it soon, but <laughs> Hopefully it's not too annoying. Grace just actually had something stupid let her work. Well, I don't know if you wanna say stupid, but she got a text from her boss that they have COVID. Like, first of all, why are we still testing? Like, if you're sick, stay home. And then they try to say, if you have a cough, wear a mask. And she's like, I am not wearing a mask. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes, proud mom. Like, this is ridiculous. It's been literal years now. Could we just stop? Just because you have a cough doesn't mean you have COVID. Look at this. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna need your help with authenticity because I am clueless. So Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm gonna show you everything up close and I am not good with authenticating these type of things. So you tell me if anything looks off. I know to like look for the stitching um, and I don't know, like, what else do you look for? There's probably something inside. So let me see. This almost looks like a pouch or like a travel bag or something, just because there's no strap. It has a pocket right here with a stevia <laughs> sweetener. So that's funny. Here's this little pouch. It's a little bit curled right here. The zipper pull does say LV. Let's look on the inside. This is exciting. Okay, if it's real. It feels like good like leather. Okay, here's the inside. I see like two pockets right there and then it's just open. I don't know if there's any sort of little tags or anything and I'm not seeing that so. After I looked at this some more, I did see that Louis Vuitton was stamped on the inside as well as France. Also, it has a serial number with a code. So I think it is all good to go and authentic. How am I supposed to know? Let me know down below in the comments what you think because I am actually clueless. I'll probably do a Google Lens with Ryan's phone since mine still isn't working. Maybe I'll like see what it's called, try to find somebody who's selling a real one and compare everything. But if this is real, that's amazing. No clue what it'll go for, but I'm sure I would make my money back. I'm guessing and more with just this one thing. So let's just get into the next thing. It is seven items for 140, by the way. Okay, looks like some clothes and shoes. Okay, this is the brand Etro. I actually just sold an Etro sweater for $80 and this is a blazer like jacket kind of has a little bit of shoulder pad here with this pattern. I don't even really know what you would call this pattern Two front pockets. It's an open 
style. This is a really expensive brand. I basically pick this up anytime I see it. It is a size 44, made in Italy. So here's the tag. I'll have to see what that converts to. It's a viscose. It says 100% sheepskin. Where? You last name? Maybe that's for like something else. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is nice. I'm really happy with this. Um, this is a really good brand. Hopefully I could sell it for like at least 80 to a hundred dollars. Considering I sold a sweater for 80, I feel like this is a more substantial piece. So that's really exciting. Time out, I'm gonna get a drink. Hopefully my dry throat goes away. We're supposed to be prom dress shopping later. And it's kind of annoying. Like I haven't, we haven't been to the doctor in years because I don't trust him anymore. <laughs> I'm like, if we ever get really sick, I'm gonna have to find a new doctor. This is, um, I don't know what this is actually. I don't know. Okay, this is Sachin and Babby. It says made in China, extra small. I have no clue what this is. It's a lightweight pink sweater with this lace underlay that's peeking out. And then it has like a really interesting pattern on the back. Let me look at the tag in here. It says it's raw linen, Egyptian cotton blend, and it does have a style number. So let me just do a really quick search on Poshmark and see if anything comes up with that brand. I'll try not to go on any more rants about you know what, because I know some people don't agree with me, but okay. Um, Sachin, baby, I don't know if that's how you say it. Someone sold a shirt for $36 and a sweater for 25. Actually, that wasn't even, the sweater wasn't even the same brand. I don't know. I don't feel like this is gonna be very good. People have them listed really high, but there's hardly any solds, which means the sell-through rate is kind of crap. Um, so I'm gonna assume this is not gonna sell for very much. Is this even designer? Would you guys consider this designer? If you know this, let me know down below in the comments. I think that's kind of a, uh. Okay, it looks like the rest is shoes. So that's exciting. I have three pairs of shoes, or three pairs out and one in a dust bag. So I'm gonna leave, leave the dust bag ones for last. The first I have is Saint Laurent. How do you say that? Because isn't the Y silent? Saint Laurent brown like pumps. This is another amazing brand, size seven and a half. I don't know how these will sell because they're an older style. So I'll definitely have to do some research but they're in pretty like good condition. So that's exciting. Let's look at the other one. Same thing. It's, they're in actually like really nice condition. Okay, so yay. That's an amazing brand. Let's see what the next pair are. Oh, this is not surprising, Ferragamo. Sometimes Ferragamos do not do well for me, but I have noticed the ones with this little bow and it says it on there that they can actually do good. Or if you find the ones with like the horse bit, that does really good. This is a pair of navy blue little heels and they are, I say seven double A, which I think is at like really, really narrow. <laughs> um, so Salvatore Ferragamo Boutique made in Italy, but I'll definitely sell these. I'm pretty sure I sold something really similar to this uh, recently, but I don't remember how much for. So I'll have to check back and look at comps, but that's exciting. Oh my gosh, these next shoes are exciting. Oh, and I could have got more boxes that day, but I only got one. Maybe I should have got more, but at least I got two more. I'm just like, I was trying to be like kind of stingy with my money. I'm like, oh, it's such a risk, but this is paying off. Look at these. Prada, silver glitter loafer flats. Here's the inside, that's upside down for you. Prada, Milano, they are a size 38. Here's the bottom. Um, as far as this glitter goes, I don't see any bits that's like scuffing off or coming off, which is amazing. Let's look at the other one. Same thing, I feel like these are in amazing condition. This is super exciting. Yes, please. 
Oh my gosh, I love those. Okay, last thing, last pair of shoes in a dust bag. Oh, I was hoping it would be something like amazing. Michael Kors. <laughs> Michael Kors designer. Um, I don't know about that. Would you guys consider this designer? Michael Kors. Shoe, heel, it's closed toed with this little like circle detail here in the strappy ankle, it's a T-strap. I know like Michael Kors collection can be good. I mean, I guess they say made in Italy down here, size seven. So maybe they're like a higher end or like a better quality than like the stuff you find at TJ Maxx. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts on this. Like I don't consider Michael Kors designer, but these were made in Italy. So maybe they're, I mean, they feel nice. There's something down here that says style and it's like written, it says Goldie. So maybe I can look that up. You know what, let me just do it now really quick and just search by that style name and see if I can find anything. A few moments later. Okay, I didn't find anything right off the bat just putting in Michael Kors Goldie heels, so I don't know. I don't think these are gonna be great, but I'll definitely still list them. They are actually in really nice condition. Like this wood is not scuffed anywhere with any marks, which is like kind of amazing. So I guess I'm glad it came with a dust bag because maybe it kind of helped protect them. I'm surprised those Prada shoes didn't. Okay, so recap. Let me know down below what your favorite item was. Michael Kors heels, Saint Laurent heels, Prada flats, Ferragamo heels. No one's gonna say this, whatever this is. And I feel like made in China, like made in China is not designer. I wonder if just because it was expensive. Sachin and Babby, I'm probably saying that wrong. Etro, yes and Louis Vuitton, hopefully real. Okay, that's my box. I loved it. I love these boxes. I'm excited for our other ones to come in. I don't know if that'll be out the next Sunday or the one after. It depends on how quickly we get our boxes. We ordered them yesterday. Let me tell you where this is from because people always ask me that. This one is from Swanee, Georgia. So I think I'm gonna probably get all this listed today. I'm filming this on a Thursday because I know I have a busy weekend ahead of me. So again, if you see anything you're interested in, please message me down below. Instagram or my email works and hopefully we can work out a deal off platform. I will sell it to you a little bit cheaper than what I list it for, but I cannot go so low where it's just like ridiculous or I'm not gonna make a profit. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back on Tuesday with a haul video. <sighs> Designer boxes. I wish they were easier to get. Okay, talk to you soon, bye.